Hello there, welcome to another Kevy Shaves. It's great to have you here, it's nice to be back shaving. Today's razor is uh, the Edwin Jagger DE89. Fantastic razor. Uh, this is the 3D laser diamond handle. Yeah, beautifully made razor, fantastic. Nice design, classic. Uh, and the blade inside that, I have I'll just show you, this is a three-piece razor. It is a Rapira Super Stainless. And that's a brand new blade. This is the first use on that blade in that razor. Uh, and I'll just show you the wrapper of that. There it is there. And for those of us, including myself, who don't speak Russian, uh, there's the box. Rapira Super Stainless. Um, and that razor and blade was asked for by Carissa5, who is a, a YouTube um, watcher of shaving videos uh, from Scotland, a fellow Scot from Glasgow, uh, Jock. Nice one, Jock. So you've asked uh, for me to use this, so I'm doing that for you today. Uh, the brush today is a big sterling Kong. I've not used this brush for a long time. No, you've not. You've not used me for ages. So I thought I'd give this an outing today. Big Sterling Kong. The soap eating monster. <laughs> uh, it's a 26mm synthetic brush. Lovely brush. Nice and soft. Um, the soap today, first time using this for me, is Barrister and Man Lavanil. And, um, I've had the, well I've got the puck blooming, I've got some water in there and if you guys can see inside that how dark that soap is, it's a dark dark brown the soap and actually the bloom water which I don't know if you can see it's actually, it looks like tar and the scent on this is so complex it's a dark lavender, there's vanilla I get some kind of like a dark chocolate smell but um, yeah, Barrister Man soaps are supposed to be fantastic. So I'm going to apply the bloom water to my face and just wait until you guys see the colour of this water. And you see? <laughs> there it is at the back of my hand. It's a dark, dark brown. Because the soap is so dark. Yeah, I'll just show you, look. It looks like I'm applying a fake tan. Yeah, probably a good way to get a, a tan, a sun tan in Scotland because there's not much sun. So just bloom some uh, Barrister Marino Lavanil and apply the, the bloom water to your face. <laughs> Look at that, it looks like I've been on a cruise. <laughs> my hands off and dry them. How's everyone doing? I hope you're all well. Hello um, new subscribers to my channel. Nice to have you along and hello to all my regular viewers. It's very nice to have you here too. Thank you very much for watching again. So here's the soap here. As you can see, look at the colour of that bloom water just dripping off there. It's a, it's a dark dark brown colour. Yeah, so I'm just going to wet brush and I'm just going to squeeze out the excess and we'll get to loading this soap. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's going to stay this colour. I'm not too worried. Um, yeah, it looks like it's, it's still staying a brown colour, but I don't mind. But the scent on this is so complex. Um, we'll load the brush and see how we get on. Yeah, man, look at my skin. It's, <laughs> it's dark brown. I think I've got a nice suntan. I look so healthy with my suntan. For my Barrister Man Lavanil soap. And, uh, yeah, the brushes. Well, this is a 
this picks up so much. Look at that, it looks like caramel. Okay, let's apply the lather. And as you can see, it's still a, it has like a beige colour to it now. It's certainly not white, like most other soaps. The scent is a, it's a very dark scent, it's nice. Very complex, but um, I like it. And Barrister Man soaps are supposed to be um, excellent performers. I've not used it. This is the first time I've used a, a Barrister Man soap. And it's creating a nice lather, not too thick, just nice. And it's going all over my top. That's okay, because it's just a just a shaving t-shirt, a shaving shirt. Oh my goodness, look at this. I don't mind. I hope none of you guys have got OCD and you're like, oh my God, he's making such a mess. <laughs> okay, that looks nice. And there's the brush. And if you can see the colour of this water, <laughs> it looks like I've got um, bad plumbing. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. Rapira stainless, super stainless, stainless, super stainless. Rapira super stainless blade in the Edwin Jagger D89. I have about um, three days growth. And that's like a, a knife through butter. Yeah, some of you guys may notice I've changed the way I shave my with the grain. I go down to here because I was looking at my beard growth and then I go down this way uh, as this is the way my hair grows yeah I've only been I've only been shaving wrong for the past six months The razor full, so rinse it out. For anyone that's uh, new to this way of shaving, and this blade feels really nice, nice and smooth. On sharp, it's taking care of the whiskers and it doesn't feel harsh on my skin. Very nice. And no pressure. Uh, again, if you're watching and you're new to this way of shaving, just let the blade and the soap glide over your skin. Okay, that's the first pass done. Very nice. Very slick. Okay, I'm just going to rinse this off and I will come straight back. Okay, back for... Pass number two. Oh, the scent. <laughs> yep, 
you know when you get this, um, yeah, there's lavender there and vanilla. But you know when you get this, the dark chocolate that has like 70 and 80% um, cocoa solids in it, like the real chocolate stuff. Um, it's weird, that's what I get. And I love chocolate. So, I love this soap. And it's still like a, kind of like a beige colour. It feels very slick, very nice on the face. And easy to lather. Yeah, Barrister Man, have a Quite a lot of soaps actually, but this is the first time for me using one of their soaps and uh, I'm enjoying it very much. Okay, second pass across the grain. And this bit here, I just um, I put my tongue in my in front of my teeth just to push the skin out, and it stretches it, making it um, just making it easier to cut. In case anyone was wondering, I'm not making faces at you. Yeah, great protection from this uh, soap. Really nice. I could feel it on the, the moustache area there when I'm shaving there. Nice glide and cushion. Effortlessly gliding across the skin. And I always shave this way down here. This is a, a, a trouble spot for me in the past, very sensitive. But I will say that I actually think this is improving because it doesn't feel nearly as sensitive as it used to feel. So um, I think my skin might be improving shaving this way and using nice products and stuff. Second pass done, really nice. Not much left to go. Nice reduction again. Okay, I'm just rinsing off this and I will come straight back. Okay. Pass number three. Yeah. Beautiful lather. And still a nice scent on it. It's not drying out any. I'm sure the big still in Kong's loving it. How you liking it, pal? I, I love this laughing old barrister and man stuff. It's excellent. Good. <laughs> Welcome to the Kevy Shaves Madhouse. You don't have to be mad to be here, but it helps. <laughs> oh, it's nice to have some fun. 
Okay. Nice lather again. Pass number three against the grain. After I have this shape, well not straight after it, but later on today, I'm uh, I'm doing some filming at the weekend, uh, a short film. Uh, um, I got cast in. It's only the film itself is only it will only be about ten or fifteen minutes, but. After the shave, later today, I have to go and do um, costume and makeup tests. Makeup. <laughs> yeah. As long as I don't have to wear lipstick. I'm cool with it. <laughs> yeah, look, see, I'm going against the grain on my little sensitive spot, and it doesn't feel painful or irritating at all. Yeah, costume and makeup tests. I'm not going to tell you what the film's about. I'll just uh, once it comes out, I'll let you guys know that, um, when it's out and stuff like that. When it's made and three passes done. Wow, that feels incredible. So slick. Okay, I'm just going to rinse off. There's a couple little bits I just need to pick up, and I will come straight back. And we can chat more. Okay, yeah, a couple little bits just to pick up. Actually, there's some, um, there's still, look at that colour, <laughs> there's still some suds in this uh, bowl, so I'm just going to take them out of that and apply those to my face just now, and I will scoop out the rest that's in the brush, and there's plenty here, I'll apply that to my face, and any little bits, I'll have a little feel about any little bits that I need to pick up and get closer, I'll do that, so I will do that just now. And that feels good enough for me. That feels great. BBS it feels. Okay, I'm just gonna rub the rest of the soap into my face. I will then rinse off with some hot water, then about two minutes of freezing cold water on my face, and I'll come back for the post shave. So we'll see you then. Okay, nice shade. Very nice. Makeup on this. How can you make this look any better? <laughs> okay, some uh, Thayer's lavender witch hazel. I'm not shaking it. Oh, that's nice. Very refreshing on the skin, witch hazel. I noticed the, uh, the Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel has alcohol in it. Someone said that they had a little bit of a sting when they put it on, so I looked at the ingredients and it has um, some kind of alcohol in it, which is maybe giving the sting, but um, I need to try it to see if it does. But lavender today to go with the lavender soap, and that's lovely. Okay, while that's drying off, let's go over what we used again today. Uh, the fantastic razor is the Edwin Jagger D89 with the 3D laser diamond knurling handle. Fantastic razor. 
very efficient, not too mild, not too aggressive, just right. And inside that today, as a Carriza 5, Jock asked for it, was a Rapira Super Stainless Blade. First use on that blade, brand new, very, very good. Really enjoyed it, whether it was in the right razor or not, I'm not sure, but very nice shave. Uh, the soap today, fantastic. Barrister Man, Lavanil. Excellent performing soap. I, I really need to get more Barrister Man soaps now because um, that was just effortless. And there's the soap there. Um, and you can still see the, <laughs> the how dark it is there. The water's still running out of it. Uh, I used the, the Bloom Water as a pre shave. Um, and then apply the soap using the Big Sterling Kong. Uh, that was an excellent brush. I've not used that for a long time. Um, really enjoyed it. Massive 26 millimeter knot. Very soft, synthetic, great brush. Uh, I then rinsed off with some hot and cold water. Thayer's Lavender Witch Hazel. With some of the label missing, but that's okay. Um, and I'm going to apply now some. Real Shave Company Post Shave Soothing Balm. Um, this doesn't have much of a scent, so. And it's a nice balm. I probably applied too much there, but that's okay, I'll rub it in. Yeah, not much of a scent to this. Just kind of like a, a creamy scent, a balm scent. but not much of a scent at all. And some people have asked me, why do you apply the balm first or the aftershave first? Well, sometimes I apply the balm and sometimes I apply the aftershave first. It's entirely the mood I'm in. <laughs> I just wanted to apply the balm first today. I get my hands a little white. And to finish off some scent, I was looking through my scent, uh, I have some samples, so I'm going to use this today because this has lavender in it and it's um, Floris number 89 and uh, there's the little tester and I think I got this from um, Ian at the Gentleman's Groom Room in Dundee, so thank you Ian and it has it on it number, if that's going to focus, I don't think it will, number 89. So. Get the top off it, and I shall just apply a, just a little bit. Oh, what a scent! Really nice. Very nice. Yeah, a couple of little weepers there, but once the aftershave works on them, I think they'll dry in. I can feel that drying in already. Feels nice. Yeah, beautiful scent. Floris 89. Okay. <sighs> Shave done. Very nice, very happy, very smooth. Not really any irritation. Maybe the aftershave's bringing out those little weepers there, but that's okay, they'll... I'm not worried about them, they're not cuts, they're just, um, sometimes when you apply aftershave, it kind of just, anything that's, uh, you've shaved too close, it just, um, it brings them out, but, yeah, I'm happy. Okay, that's all for today, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please keep the comments coming, I really appreciate the comments, um, and uh, some of them are great, some of them are funny, and I get into little conversations with people, uh, and there, so there's one guy called Shavathon who does the... He always does them with the closed captionings, which is like the subtitles from YouTube, and they always get it wrong because of my accent. <laughs> Some of the things they put up is, um, yeah, it's just very interesting. Okay, until the next time, we'll see you again, and take care.